Hello ladies and gents. Excuse me for being kind of sweaty and gross looking. I just did a part one of a series of videos that I'm going to be doing for a little while called Sunkyoki. It's Sunku and Karaoke mixed together. You should all be terrified. I'm going to be putting that on my Morning Otoko channel, which is my old dubbing channel that I don't really use much anymore and I really want to. I don't know why I haven't used it in a while. But I'm going to be uploading all my Sunkyokis to that and I will link that below so you can kind of check that out and then whenever that's uploaded, if it's not already uploaded by the time that this comes up, then you can go and check that out. Today I'm going to be talking about the two new cute songs that have been released, Love is More Innovative and Living Alone in the City. I will link both of these music videos to their YouTube channel below so you can go ahead and check them out there. Initially I was not a huge fan of both of these songs and after listening to them a couple of different times, I'm still not incredibly impressed. Let's talk about Love is More Innovative. We had these sexy undertones and almost this salsa vibe for the intro and I was really digging it But then we introduced this weird techno pop thing that sunku has been into lately and don't get me wrong It's fine, but I don't really think that it worked very well with this particular song What I did appreciate about this song is that the lyrics appear to be very different from something that sunku normally writes It is incredibly empowering to women Empowerment? What is this? It almost seems like the girl in the story is calling out the boy on his bullshit and I appreciate that most of Sunku's songs that have to do with love in any context is usually about the girl having lots of namida about how the guy just doesn't like her the way that she likes him and that she has to do these mundane, horrible, boring things in order for their relationship to work. And that doesn't really work for me because it's almost like it, it pictures women as if they're this really pouty and mopey and sad, depressed beings all the time and they just pine over these guys and can't have them. This song did not seem that way though. My only real issues with this song are that the vocals are kind of boring and dull. There were a couple of cool parts near the end, but for the most part the vocals just were a little lacking. However, this music video does gain a lot of points for me because I really liked the effects that were used in the entire video. There was something very cool and mysterious and almost sexy about it. However, those singular dance shots of the girls in the warehouse all by themselves seemed a little bit too much like a horror movie and all of them were going to die by the end of it. There was that weird weeping angel pose that they all did, so maybe they all did die, but I think that they were trying to go for a sexy vibe and then with the abandoned warehouse it kind of just translated into like I'm waiting in my abductor's hideout until they come back to murder me. You know, maybe that's a little gruesome and dark, but that's the vibe that I got from that weird music video scene. And it wasn't as awkward when all the girls were together, it was when they were doing their solo thing it was just a little creepy and strange to me and it didn't match the tone of the song. Now living alone in the city is a lot lighter and a lot bouncier and it has a lot stronger vocals, however, I feel like Sungku forgot how old these girls are and decided that it was appropriate that they get a song that was kind of stupid and nonsensical. Now this song wasn't horrible, but I don't feel like it was appropriate for the age group that we have of cute I think that this would have been a much better song if it had been for Smileage or Juice Juice Part of this song sounded like recycled bits from Romance no Tochu and The Matt and Rose Show Normally, I'm not okay with Sungu recycling sounds However, I think that it worked really well in this particular song Unlike the other song, which sounded empowering to women and tried to give empowerment to the girl in the story, this song almost seemed trivializing at times, kind of like that I'm pining over this guy, except it was in a different kind of way, but it just seemed really trivializing and, and stupid. And then there was that line about he likes my chubbier side, and then the girl ate the donut, and like, I, I don't know. Something just turned me off about that line. The costumes of this particular one and the lightheartedness of the music video were really fun though and I liked that they introduced the member names at the very beginning because for me who has a very bad time remembering people's names, it was a nice reminder of who these girls are and I know that's terrible but it served a good purpose for me. So on a whole, I will give both of these songs a solid three stars. They weren't the best, but they also weren't the worst, so they're kind of just right there in the middle, which is fine. Every group needs those kind of songs every once in a while. And again, the MVs were nice, but they weren't spectacular. You win some, and you sunku some. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all again next time. Please leave your comments on what you think about these particular songs in the comments below. And I will see you guys all again next time. Peace out. Itikimasu.